We're now at lesson 13.4a, and we're going to talk about finding areas using tangrams, and we're going to talk about composite figures. A tangram is a square that consists of seven flat polygons called tans. The tans can be rearranged to form shapes such as a bird, a house, cat, rocket, and other objects. I have the tans numbered by their area. The red square tan is one square unit. That means that's two units of area, and that's two units of area. That's a half unit of area, and that's a half unit of area. These are one unit of area. We can use the red square to find the area of the other tans. We can place tans on top of other tans to compare their areas. And together, the seven pieces have an area of eight square units. We have two and two is four, and we have a half and a half. That would be five, six, seven, eight units. When I printed this tangram, it was all one piece. But we can cut out the pieces of the tangram and compare their areas. We could also use them to make the shapes that we saw. Together, the small blue and the small yellow triangles have the same area as the red square. We can take this blue and this yellow one and lay them on top of the red square and see that we have one half and one half, which is one square unit. They also have the same area as this green triangle. We can take this blue small triangle and put it here, and we can take this yellow one and put it here and see that it has the same area. They also have the same area as this pink parallelogram. We can take the blue triangle, we can put it here, we can take the yellow triangle and put it like this, and it has the same area as the pink parallelogram. We could take two of these green triangles and fit them into this orange triangle and into the large blue triangle. If I had two of these, I would be able to fit them into here. We have one here, and you can see we could fit another one here. That's why the orange triangle is two units. If we put the red square together with the small yellow triangle, we'll have one and a half square units. And if we put the pink parallelogram with the blue triangle, we'll have one and a half square units. We can see they have the same area. The combined area of the blue and yellow triangles with the pink parallelogram have the same area as the large orange triangle. That's two square units, and here we have one and two halves. That's two square units. When the tans are combined to form a new figure, the new figure is a composite. A composite is something made of various parts. A composite photo is an image made from two or more different photos. A composite figure is made from two or more different figures. We can break apart a composite figure into smaller figures to find its area. We would find the area of the triangle, we'd find the area of the square, and we'd add the areas for a total area of the composite figure. There'll be a tangram that you can copy and print in the YouTube community section of my channel and in my Facebook photo album titled Geometry. We finish with the first part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the second part, finding areas of polygons. We're going to work with composite figures. Have a nice day, and please join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.